see everybody cruising through these problems here on algebra two, lesson two five. And we're up here to problem number five. We're gonna be halfway through here. And what we are supposed to do is solve this by completing the square. We've been working on that in this lesson. And so if you remember how this goes, we take half of that 10, which would be a five in this square. And it equals, we did move the 32 to the other side. Uh, we've been doing it in our problems. And then because we have this plus 25 that wouldn't have been here if we did x plus five squared with a rectangle. If I had my x plus five and my x plus five, there's my x squared, there's my 25, and I've got a five x here and a five x here. So we're good with the x squared. We're good with the 10 x. But because I moved this 32 to the other side, I've got a 25 here that I added on by writing it in this form. So I got to add that 25 to both sides of the equation, making the right side of this problem over here negative 7. Negative 32 plus 25, negative 7. All right, then we have to go and solve this problem. Let's see if I can get this circle out of here. All right, so to solve this by completing the square, our next step here, we need to square root both sides. We've talked many times in the past, when you square root both sides, like x squared being 25, that's the one I always use, square root x equals five, most people say, but also because negative five times negative five is 25, this x could also be a negative five. So when you do solve by square rooting both sides, you got to put a plus or minus there. So that's what this plus or minus is coming from, is that concept. All right, so keep going here. The square root here undid that. So I've got my x plus five on that side equal my plus or minus. Remember the negative under the square root, if you need this, that's like uh, seven times negative one, and the square root is seven times the square root of negative one. The square root of negative one part right there, remember that's i, times that square root of seven. So we've got a positive or negative i times the square root of seven there. And then the last step, and we'll be done. We're going to subtract that five to the other side and write it right in here like that. That'll be our final answer. So simplify separated by commas. If I didn't make a mistake there, the answer got a little bit more messy than the ones we've been doing, but it's still the same process. So negative five minus I um, get their square root symbol because I don't know the shortcut. I think there is a shortcut. I think I can show it to you. It's a backslash right above the enter key on my keyboard. I think it's S Q R T and it'll do a square root symbol if you like shortcuts on your keyboard. Arrow to the right to get out of there and negative five and a plus sign. Backslash S Q R T. Not that much faster than just clicking on theirs. The seven. Oh, I forgot the I there. So we're gonna get that wrong if I don't sneak that I right in here. Negative five plus or minus, so it's two different answers, one with the plus, one with the minus, i squared is seven. And that, my friends, should be the correct answer. So if you haven't already watched the overview videos to totally understand some of these ideas, I explain it again in the problems a little bit, uh, but the overview videos might also help you to have a better understanding. You've got the view and examples. If you, uh, even once you get it right, if you're not sure, you're, similar problem, or there's 10 questions here, but keep after it. Make sure you really understand it. If you get totally messed up, always make sure you bring a question. We can do it together in class. So hang in there, keep after it, and you got this.